What's going on everyone? Guess who's here? Hi! Hiya! <laughs> Unboxing vacuums and now we're being roped into unboxing our thing. Yep. Let's see what's inside. Inside this box might well be a Tesco bagless upright vacuum cleaner. But I have been told that it isn't. I don't know what it is. Ooh, I see the German stamp of questionable quality. This is some sort of mealer. Correct. Hey. Okay, guys. Let's have a look. What is this? This is a... Some is that two hard portals? No, it can't be. I don't know. We'll get it out and then we'll have a look. But yeah, this is <laughs> yeah. A, a very... I'm going to say cheap feeling and this is like the Fax Air Revolve style with the blade. Oh, is it? it? It's like a wet thought. Or is it a wet pack? <laughs> because Mila done like a wet slide. I don't know. Maybe that bit clips on. It actually does look like that, you know. Oh, very nice all tech floor head. I actually do like those to be fair. Yeah, and the plastic ones aren't too bad. I grew to like them after getting fed up with the metal ones just busting. Yeah, they but always no, do that one. Probably have, do you have any hose? An electronic hose. Well, that's a familiar looking hose. Oh, Lovely. Very basic handle. The one little tiny switch. Is this one of the machines that suffers from the dreaded hose cover? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. <laughs> I do like how it's simple though. Just one switch for brush control. That is a beast. The, the power head. Ooh, it's the big boy one. Have you had one of these in person before? <sighs> no, I don't think I have. Seven, Prepare to be amazed then. 228. Yeah, no, the biggest I've got is generation before this. I don't know. S5 yeah, that, Revolution. Yeah, nice extension one. Very normal really. And yeah. lastly, we've got the unit itself. Ooh, look at that colour. Ooh, a complete C3 Electro Plus Eco Liner. Ah, so not the fully disappointing version. Yeah, 800 watts. Very nice. What's that? EU Phase 1? Yeah, 2017 I think, but I love it. Oh yeah, it's very pretty indeed. Right, let me get rid of some of this. Okay, Sam, tell the audience what the vacuum's about. Hey, you! I oh, know you want to see the Mila, not Mele, Mila, like Sheila. And no, it's not Millie either, okay? C3, please subscribe, all right? <laughs> well, we have not my most favourite flavour of Mila, I have to say, but more than made up by the electric hose. So, first thing we need to do is fit a bag, because there isn't one. A lovely genuine one. Yeah, nice genuine bag. The filter is spotless. The whole vacuum looks brand new to it's be fair, doesn't it? Very clean. Yeah, oh yeah, that's only seen. Is that things. a charcoal one? Yeah. Oh, no, it isn't. I don't know how those work, but it looks fine. You'll, you'll, you'll be fine. Yep. Put the bag in, making sure that these bits are on top of those bits. So I'll have to be yep. there. A lot of them where people haven't done that. Well, we have some small tool action going on. Fantastic. I don't think they've ever been used really. The next thing we need to do is to unwind the power cable. It's not bad, it's, yeah, it's been sat a while. Oh no, I forgot you. <laughs> Reel a little bit in. Yeah. That's the comfort feature, guys, where you just press it once and the whole thing reels in. That's, yeah, this this has been reeled up for a while. Right, power me up. Power Plugging up. it in, there we are. Switch it on. And we're ready for action. That's dead quiet, isn't it? That seems absolutely fine. Mint. That's a lot less flimsy just because of the plug. Oh, yeah. On the hose, that's always quite a flimsy little spot. Let's play then. Oh, I mean, that. oh I'll build the wieldy hose. Let's get the straight suction part out of the way. And I haven't vacuumed today either, so this is perfect. You're doing my chores for me, Sam. Dirty boy. <laughs> Quite a decent tool to I must say. Oh, nice, yeah. That's what you need to do once a day. Yep. I'm not sure these people that spent the horrific amount of money that this would have cost and just used it like that. <laughs> Which would be a little bit sad. Now, what you want is this head here, right? Here. I can sort of tell why I buy with that. That suddenly makes it very heavy. This pedal. There we are. Ooh. Ooh. You can hear the power in that thing, can't you? Yeah, yeah. That's why it's raising the floor nice. You see the grooming marks in the carpet yeah, as well. Lovely. In America, this is one of the best but most premium vacuums you can get. It's nice. But you can even vacuum on the lowest power. Yeah. Look at the 
<laughs> Can't even hear the vacuum is mainly just brush bar motor noise and the brush bar, yeah. On the gear setting is probably more than that they're quite enough I must say. Yeah. Oh, you can hear the airflow on that. That's a young medium. Well, full blast, see what it does. Oh, that actually sounds quite good, you know. Yeah. Let's see that. Yeah, that's better than the silent one I've got. With your big American house, with your five hours of vacuum in there. Yeah. Mm. Nice and lightweight, but it still packs a punch. The vacuum the power. Yeah, the head probably weighs a ton more than the vacuum itself. Wow. Especially seeing how cheap they've gone recently with their plastic build quality. That's the, the head's better it. quality than the main vacuum, I think. It is. It's why these aren't my favourite, but I presume that would have been used on many others. Yeah. And they've got the effort to it. Very nice indeed. So that is the Mila C3 Electro Plus Eco Line. You can will see we get a big mess test with it one day? Never say never, we don't know, but stay tuned and you'll find out. It's your favorite vacuum key. I'm going to show you back on 1987 being introduced to the Dyson DC28 Air Muscle Animal Vacuum, the one that was the DC17 replacement sold in the USA for ultra thick carpets. Now, let's see what Mr. Sam Watson has to say about this vacuum once he tests it out for the first time. Are you ready? I think so. I'm scared. <laughs> So, I'm holding in my hand what seems a familiar and um, fairly boring looking Dyson, but I do see some buttons that I haven't seen before. The options, not just what they want you to do. Multiple controls. Yes, yeah, so. So it defaults onto medium pile. Okay, okay. So I'm selecting on bare full mode first to see what it's like on the carpet and work your way up to deep pile. Yeah, let's give it a good kicking down. There we are. Is it easy to push? No. Strong it's easy like Short pile. Short pile. It's got the motor pile in it. Yeah. Uh, well, not hard, but... Uh. And this is a medium pile carpet, guys, so just to bear that in mind. Oh, yeah, so the brush bar moves up and down. I'll show you that in a second. It's the most advanced cleaner head I've ever seen. That's like the Lamborghini of the, uh, vacuum cleaner oh, heads. Yeah. What settings are on now? Medium. Yeah. Medium. Yeah. And it's a lot easier to push now, as you can see. And when you push deep pile, it will move on its own. Kind of, yeah. Short pile is quite fun. <laughs> yeah, true. You can really feel the suction mount yeah. mode. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, literally last week, done a UK DC27. That's like a million times better. That's like, oh, that's, that, that's all my DC17 levels from guys. Almost. I think the D17 slightly, slightly better, it's but it, this one's close enough. It's, it's got easy better to push in general, but yeah, that whole. I mean, have yeah. you taken it apart yet? Yeah, I presume not. Maybe. I have on another one, but this is the better condition one I got, and I haven't touched that. So as you can see, this cleaner head has a bunch of gubbins. It looks so, like an air bellow system. Yeah. So this Rather thing is a pneumatic system. actuator. It uses pressure from the vacuum motor yes. with these clear tubes. So yeah. when you use a medium pile and deep pile setting. It uses pressure from the motor to compress that and really push the cleaner head down you, further. You can hear the motor note change. I bet that's great fun. To yeah. That. And the brush bar has a height adjustment thing as well. So the height adjustment on the brush bar makes it move up and down. So if I select bare floor mode, the bristles don't stick out at all. And on deep pile, they stick out extremely long. So, so as you can see on bare floor mode, the bristles don't stick out. I'm going to go back to deep pile because I can see that. And now deep pile, see how much they stick out now? Medium. And that's really going to deep clean the carpet. Right, yeah. And on the side, you can see the cam. So keep an eye on that. Oh, yeah. 
And finally, you've got a high torque clutch, which uses just the main vacuum with a spindle, but with gear belts to get really high torque for the brush bar. So Dyson could do advanced, interesting, you know, state-of-the-art machine. They, they, why did they not? <laughs> it was too complicated and unreliable, that's why. Like... Couldn't make it cheaply in China en masse, which is sad and depressing. Yeah, these were short-lived, to be fair. Just a few years. Yeah. I imagine finding parts of any of those bits is almost an entire scrap machine nowadays. Yeah, yeah. unfortunately. Oh, that's wicked, isn't it? But these things have two PCBs as well, one in the switch housing and one behind the motor. Makes so sense. it's very complicated. Yeah, because they're little tactile buttons, obviously. Yeah. Changing the cable on one's probably not fun. Very cool. Yeah, other than that, the bid and cycle is the same as the 27, 33, all of that. Filters the same, one and holes the same. Yeah, literally. Tools are the same. The only thing really is when you jam the brush bar, the switch lights up red. Oh, yeah. And that's it really. So yeah, that's a DC28. Very nice indeed.